Today I'm going to be talking about some tips that you could use in order to really ensure that if you follow these guidelines, you'll never be in a tough financial predicament ever. And I think that that's, that's really one of the most important things is you want to be, you want to be anti-fragile. You want to be in a situation where no matter what happens in the economy or the stock market, things will be okay. With first thing of all, you need to have, everybody says this, you need to have an emergency fund like six months. If you think about it, most of the financial problems that people have has a lot to do with the fact is that they have really no cushion whatsoever. They're just flying naked, <laughs> really. They're just, they're, they're all into debt, a lot of debt. And if one small, tiny thing happens in the economy, they lose their job, businesses uh, just starts declining quite dramatically, they're in a real tough predicament very, very quickly. And that's no good. Now, if they have a six month or maybe even a year, it's actually even better if you have a year of savings on the side. It means for one thing that when times are tough, you're not going to go, to, you're not going to cash out your retirement account. So you won't have to be pay the tax uh, problems. You're going to be in good shape if you do this. <laughs> That's why we actually always say to have the savings account. It has to do with a buffer. It's kind of like buying insurance because yeah, you could say, hey, Michael, uh, the savings account, it doesn't pay interest. Yeah, so what? <laughs> that This is all about having an emergency savings account so that way when things happen, this is your insurance policy and you don't have to pay anything for it. <laughs> you just have to, uh, I mean, yeah, you're paying in the sense there's inflation and the risk uh, opportunities that you missed out on, but it doesn't matter. Having a savings account, it's a very good idea. Six months to one year. I think the last year, 2020, proved that it's actually a pretty good policy to actually uh, be ready for any kind of environment that comes about. It also means that when times are tough, you're not going to want to touch your investments. You're just going to leave them, let them be without touching it because you're not going to be worried about it. You have your you have your buffer. Now, number two, this is amazing. So many people let free money. Uh, slide away they're not taking advantage of the free money that exists in our society and what i mean by free money for one thing so many employers they offer people matching contributions for the retirement accounts and how many of you for whatever reason you're like i don't want to do that i want to uh use the money for my day-to-day -day purchases but they're literally are giving up uh free money sometimes it's a two for one match you you and you put a one dollar into your retirement account your employer will put in another dollar so that's just stupid if you're not doing that in fact because i'm an independent contractor i don't even get that benefit but if i did if someone was willing to give me a dollar for every uh, dollar i put in retirement account i sure i sure would abuse the hell out of that policy and just put uh as much money as possible into that so that's that's one thing. Number three, so many of you, I know, I mean, this is natural, people get busy. Number three, what happens with number three is your your savings. I mean, I mean, I mean, you're spending money on things month after month, and you're not even using it. And I, I'll be I'll be the first to admit I I'm probably somewhat guilty of this. Let's say you have your Netflix account. You don't even you don't even watch some movies <laughs> lately. The last time you, you watched a movie was a few months ago, but yet every month you're paying for the Netflix, whether you use it or not, or your Spotify, or some other thing that you signed up for, some kind of monthly expense, and you're not even really paying any attention to it, and that's really problematic because so many people are not. I so many people are thinking about uh, just the day-to-day -day things, and then they don't have the time to focus on the monthly expenses that are just coming out of their account, whether they uh, think about it or not. So I think it's important to go into your credit card statements and look to see these um, bills that you're, you're paying, you're paying for things. You're not even necessarily aware of it because you signed up for it and you're just paying. And I think these, these companies actually bank on that. I know the gym industry, they, the whole industry is based upon the idea that you're never going to actually go to the gym. They sign you up, they get your monthly payment, that's passive income for them, but it's a passive expense for you. So make sure that you're not spending money on crap that you're not using. 
And then finally, my last piece of advice, and this is something will allow you to really ensure that there is success with regard to finances, make sure that you're not trying to piggyback or rely on someone else to deliver all the results that you're looking for. As an example, I know that when it comes down to Shopify, it's amazing actually how many people are going into these forums like on Facebook or things like that and they're looking for instant answers. They're literally looking for someone to solve any kind of question they have with regard to how to run their online business. They're saying, I have this problem, can someone fix it? And so it's nice that people can fix it, but sometimes it's a unique problem that they have and they actually literally have to use their own judgment. This is the same with stocks too. Which stock should I buy? Oh, when should I sell? Well, nobody can really make that decision for you. You have to really think it through, think about how much risk you're willing to take. And sometimes you're gonna to have to make your own individual judgment because that's really not the kind of thing that anybody can very easily uh, do for you when, you when you're handling these kinds of things. So I do hope that I was able to answer some interesting random questions about finance and to make sure that you are headed in the right path. So click the like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.